Good evening guys and happy Wednesday to all of your sunshiny faces. Guys, I actually did some work in the backyard today. Um, I ended up behind our garage. I think I showed you guys when we put our greenhouse up, but um, we put it up two, not last summer, but the summer before that. Um, and we ended up having a problem with the plastic sort of on it. Um, it was like the plastic ended up, well, we didn't take it down over the winter, which we probably possibly should have. Um, but it was also like the way it was like attached to the frame, we might have had to have taken the frame down too, which seemed like a huge pain because of having to put it in. But like, I mean, I understand like it's not a permanent structure, but like, um, I'd expect it to like, you know, not have to be fully taken down over like the winter. Um, but anyway, so the plastic ended up having tr like problems and was sort of like, like, I don't know, like it got like all these little holes in between like the meshing part because it was like a mesh plastic sort of. So like where the actual plastic was, like it like fell apart. Um, but where the mesh part was, like the like fabric, I guess, sort of was okay. So my dad ended up putting new plastic on it last summer um, and it still worked and everything like that. This year though, um, the whole frame actually fully just fell apart. Um, so we ended up sort of giving up on that and um, you know decided like okay we're not going to have the greenhouse in the back behind the garage. What we might wind up doing is actually do like a small built in against the garage um, sort of just like actually shelving and then just sort of put like the um, they sell like the sheets the plastic sheets um, for like it's specifically really for greenhouses because of the UVs that like us will let in or something like that I don't know. Um, but so that it's not shaded either um, and it keeps the heat in and everything like that so that's what I was sort of thinking because I was like that's a super easy like we're just sort of adding the shelves on to the garage already and then just sort of adding that stuff around that um, and then we'll have to do maybe like two by fours or something like that just to, like the outer part um, but then can just attach it to the garage you know so um, I was like that's actually a really you know pretty easy little thing that we can do but it doesn't even have to come out more than like a foot for the shelves um, so we're gonna have all the space behind the garage and we already have it all laid down with pea gravel for the most part actually though taking down the greenhouse because we didn't finish putting the pea gravel down before we put the greenhouse up and so there was a lot of space we realized that actually did not have pea gravel we knew that one side wasn't completely finished yet but we have all the plastic down it's pretty much level for the most part but there's like pea gravel in certain spots where there's just or there there isn't where there should be um, but we have it, like I said, all sort of graveled out in the back and we're like, well, what do we do with this space now? So what we're going to do is do our, um, we still have the composter back there, but, and we're going to, like I said, probably do like some greenhouse shelving along the, um, the garage or they also have non-permanent ones that you can get and they're a lot easier to take down that are just sort of like those vertical ones that go up and have like shelving in there. So I was thinking we could also possibly do that and it's really good because it gets a lot of sun right there um so again we were thinking like what should we do back behind that garage other than you know just have like that there's not going to be much else back there so my thoughts well and my mom had suggested it too my dad has always talked about doing it but doing like the bonfire having that back behind the garage um instead of in, out in the middle of the yard which is we just normally like bring it out there and then bring out some of our like folding chairs and then put it away every time this way it wouldn't be like permanently there because it, we can still like we just have a little one that's like sort of you know <laughs> can move around or whatever but um we were like I said just so we can put it back there there and have our bonfires back there when we want to but what we were thinking of doing my dad has been talking about doing this kind of often actually was um doing a um like the cinder block benches um and he really wanted to do one with like in correlation with the fireplace but we were like well we don't really have a permanent place for the fireplace and we didn't really know where we were going to do it like I said we normally just pull it out into the middle of the yard put some chairs around it and then normally put all the stuff away 
at night and there's no real good like permanent place to sort of keep the fireplace either so if we're going to do it behind there though we can actually build the um the like their cinder block um what's it called like benches it used like I think it's like four by fours and then um just cinder blocks which I looked um and the four by fours actually are not that expensive I was telling you guys too how like lumber is sort of like weird um like the prices are sort of higher right now my dad says he thought like that it was supposed to be coming down or whatever but for the plywood we ended up getting last week for the little roller cart thing that we ended up having to make for the closet um it was still like 35 bucks which I felt like was pretty expensive I mean it was a pretty decent sized piece but I still felt like 35 bucks was like kind of a lot um for like and it wasn't that crazy thick either so like it depends on like obviously the the size of it but then also the thickness and it wasn't that I think it was I want to say it was more than half inch but it wasn't a full inch so yeah something like that but um like I said it was like 35 bucks and I thought that was kind of a lot um and I didn't notice like a whole ton of other stuff being like super expensive other than like the long pieces of um which is what we were looking to replace with our deck um the long pieces of like I think it, it's not two by fours I think it's maybe four by twos or something like that um I think um, but yeah, whatever the size was that we were going to do for the replacing our deck boards. Um, so anyways, <laughs> we, I was looking at that and those seemed a little pricey to me too. Like, I don't remember what I looked at. Like, I think it was maybe two years ago we were looking at replacing that or maybe last year. Um, but like I said, I looked at the prices and I didn't think it was that as bad as it like seems now. But the four by fours that I was looking at for doing the benches are only like 12 bucks for an eight eight inch or not eight inch eight foot I think long sections which is actually pretty good and so we need I think I figured actually um we really only needed five of them for like the bench to make the bench and then we needed let's see it was I think I wanted to do eight on each side for the cinder block so that would be 14 and I honestly think those are like two bucks or something each because we had to buy we bought two or three of them I think maybe two years ago or last year or something like that um and I can't remember what we needed them for but <laughs> I don't remember um I never did my little project though that I was gonna do with the little cinder block um little gardeny thing that I was gonna put in next to our um our side door I wanted to make because we had a couple of cinder blocks that we just weren't using and so but then there was some reason too last year why we actually needed to buy one and I don't remember what it was actually for I'm trying to think like project wise I'm like well what did we do what did we need it for um like I know we needed concrete but that was for making the base for um doing the bird feeders um all the bird feeder stuff so I don't know guys <laughs> I don't remember but anyways I'm sure if you guys type in like cinder block bench on like Pinterest or something like that you guys can find those it's just like I said like four by fours and then cinder blocks and that's literally it then you can get obviously some um like chair cushions and stuff like that but I figured we could make that as more of a you know like sort of we don't have to remove it every time that we were you know go to pick up or whatever it just be something that like stays there in that spot that you know gets used for that thing um and because it's not very expensive and it adds extra seating which is really nice too so we were thinking about doing that and then maybe adding some extra potted plants back there like bigger ones as well and stuff like that so that we can have a nice sort of backyard oasis sort of area back behind that garage um so like I said there was that um but I had to do all the cleanup because inside the greenhouse there was all kinds of stuff all over the place we had a table that was in there that ended up then um falling over and tipped over with all the like plants like not even the plants but like the 
plant starters that had dirt in it so now there's dirt mixed in with the pea gravel where there shouldn't be so I had to pick a lot of that out by hand um, and trying to like comb through because I don't want any organic material on top of that um, plastic because that will encourage weeds um, whereas like we need to have enough pea gravel that it's going to cover a lot of that space so anyways I ended up like it's like cleaning out most of that spot we also had like my mom got this like it's sort of like a plastic like garden bench sort of thing or like garden you know like work area um that has housed a lot of our gardening stuff so my dad just put that against the garage for right now um but then we had the the um the greenhouse frame that was like it's metal but it was all like like is it broken and like it caved in and stuff like that and so um my dad ended up just cutting that up actually um with his like cutter thing I think I don't know if it was not this maybe it was a sawzall or something like that <laughs> I don't know or no it was a bandsaw that's what it was I think <laughs> um I'm starting to slowly learn all the names for all the different tools my dad will randomly just like pull something out and he's like oh yeah we can use this tool <laughs> I'm like I don't even know what that is um but I've seen him use it a couple times now because we've had instances where we've had to cut metal and that is I believe what we use for cutting metal with <laughs> so um he's able to cut that all up so we can also get it in the garbage can and get rid of it um but like I said so I spent a good portion of the day cleaning that up plus there was also pieces of the plastic that had come off the greenhouse that were sort of all over in that area so it's actually all cleaned up it looks really nice it's just again we need more pea gravel for back there then on top of that too I was like well I don't know what else to do because we were going to grill tonight and I was sort of like just hanging around waiting for my dad to finish because then Jack had wrestling again so my dad had to go pick him up and I was sort of waiting so I ended up weeding both the flower beds in the backyard which were pretty in pretty sad shape they needed a little TLC um, and so I ended up getting to both of those as well um, so then I got all hot and sweaty I took a shower at like five o'clock so I actually took a really early shower that's why I have no makeup on my hair it's just like pulled up and everything it's just all hot and sweaty so like I said I needed to take a shower um, after I was done with all of that gardening and outside work and stuff like that then my dad came home we grilled then we ended up actually listening to the Cubs game outside on the radio and sat on the back porch and enjoyed um, that for a little while in the evening but um and it was already sort of dark out um but yeah guys so that was sort of it but then on top of that too I told you guys my mom is having her surgery tomorrow but there's um a lot of other projects too though that I want to try and get done outside um we have more vegetable beds that we need to get put in we're thinking about maybe getting the um and doing the um what's it called doing putting in the patio which I sort of want to do like a hybrid patio thing a little bit um I don't want to do like I want to do it more like I think it's like the French garden um patio where you actually have the grass grow still in between the pavers um without having it fully covered in um if that makes sense just because like we need to add something to the side of our um like deck and like I don't know what we should do there I'm very nervous about doing a patio ourselves just because it seems to me like a difficult process sort of with all of the leveling and the sand and adding you know and the um the gravel to make sure that it's like all level and all that kind of stuff and, and it's stable and obviously you don't want after like a year or two it just starts sinking in at one spot really bad so like you need to make sure you get it right the first time because I've seen it's a pain to try and undo what you did already and it seems like it is too you know when you do start to like if you put all the sand down but then realize it's not even it's like oh my gosh and now I have to fix all this other stuff um or you know it starts to sag because you know in one spot that's like maybe more high traffic or something like that because it wasn't leveled out correctly or you know whatever um so I'm just a little nervous about that um and obviously we try and do it ourselves because we don't want to spend more money on something that um, we could possibly do on our own but it just like I said it, it seems like it's kind of a tough thing but I feel like doing more of the like I said like I think it's that French or English garden um, it's like I said you'd like if the paver isn't leveled up completely straight and you know it does start to sag a little bit you're not going to notice it 
horribly um, if they were all exactly butted up to each other and on top of that too we're also dealing with angles because it has an angle along the driveway which is where the fence is and so we'd also have to deal with that and cutting all the pavers which we can still do but it might wind up being a bigger problem if we are trying to do all square ones um, and making it not look completely uniformed whereas if we're doing irregular shaped ones um, and having it you know like where we end up cutting it or whatever and it doesn't look uniformed that's okay you know like so something that doesn't have to look completely perfect perfect edges all that kind of stuff we can let grass grow in there so that when it eventually does which a lot of times that happens with a lot of patios anyway um, is that you do start to get the grass growing in between there it looks like it's supposed to have that right so um, like I said that was sort of my idea um, and if not too there's also other ground covering for instance you know instead of grass there's um one that i saw is like the creeping thyme um or creeping red thyme or red creeping thyme i think something like that um and there's a couple other ones i remember at my friend's house they had a small little pathway um off of their like that the entrance from their um their gate to their actual patio it was like literally just like one or two steps i think there was like a couple rocks there but um my friend's mom had like kept trying to get grass to go grow there like all summer long and finally she's like i'm gonna try with something else and she put down like some type of moss or something like that um that ended up then actually coming in and did really awesome so there's other ground covering too for like okay the grass either looks really dumb it's just crab grass or um you know whatever we can actually do um other other types of ground covering as well so I was thinking about that too and I really love that look of that I think it is the European garden um, or something like that maybe um, but to me that just it's so like elegant and like nice and sort of fancy um, and like I just love that sort of look um, so yeah that's what I was thinking of but uh, I know for sure that is one spot that we really want to have paved um, so yeah <laughs> anyways guys that was one of the things that I spent way too much time actually I was ready for bed at 10 o'clock and and took a shower already earlier too so I was like okay I'm gonna go to bed early tonight I spent like two hours then looking on my phone for like oh let's look up try and look up okay how do we do the pavers all this kind of stuff and then I was also thinking of pathways to do from our um it called over by our um flower bed too i was like looking all that stuff up i was like oh what else can we do over here <laughs> and yeah i ended up on pinterest for way too much but i told you guys too i was like so excited i'm like finally now i get to start you know like it's summertime i get to start doing more of those outside projects but there's so many other things too that's like we need a long long list of all the things that we want to do and then try and prioritize them too because like i said i randomly this weekend was just like hey let's try and power wash the deck and ended up doing that where I like I said maybe could have used my time doing something else because I don't remember what day maybe we didn't get it before the weekend but my dad just ended up getting the stain so now we can stain this stuff I was like I can do that but it's just like that whole like I don't know what needs to come first and so now and I keep adding on like more projects like oh what else can I do what else can I do and I'm like oh I can power wash my carpet because my carpet in my bedroom needs to be clean so I was like I can take that outside and power wash it I only wash the power wash the floorboards too outside on the deck and I was like I have to do the other stuff that's you know up in the the outside of the deck and all that kind of stuff needs to be cleaned but <laughs> long story short guys I just need to prioritize that is like first and foremost so um yeah like I said my mom's surgery is going to be tomorrow but um possibly after my dad comes back maybe we can start to make that list um because he's going to be taking her so um yeah there's like I said a lot of stuff too that's also going on over this weekend because then my dad's birthday is on is it on Sunday I think the day before Memorial Day my dad's birthday is always right around Memorial Day like on the weekend it's always one of those days during Memorial Day weekend I just never remember like what actual day it is I just know I'm like okay it's Memorial Day okay it's dad's birthday <laughs> um but I think it's the 30th maybe I think that makes sense yes that is on Sunday <laughs> so um but sometimes I think it might maybe it falls different no maybe it doesn't maybe it's no yeah it would have to probably fall differently on different days um 
depending on like when Memorial Day is. So anyways, uh, there's a lot of stuff that is still going on all this weekend and then shortly after that is Father's Day. Like my dad's birthday also is super close to Father's Day. So I was like, okay, I got him a birthday gift. Now I have to try and figure out what to get him for Father's Day too. I was like, this is not an easy task. Um, so yeah, anyways guys, I'll see you all in tomorrow's vlog, update you guys on whatever project sort of things we plan on getting done, maybe share with you guys too a list of all the stuff that has to get done, <laughs> um, and then see where we end up by the end of the summer. So I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog though, if you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love it if you'd subscribe, and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow, so bye guys.